Turf's dead. I saw her go off the roof. Sharpshooter got her? No, the fall got her. Then who was shot? Get EMS up there right now. I'm going up. Is it over, Jake? Is she really gone? Yeah. Yeah, it's over. It's done. She, uh, she can't hurt you anymore. <sighs> you, you, McKinnon, you are the stuff the heroes are made of. I wish I had a medal because I would pin it right here. I'll take care of your family. You all right? Yeah, I'm just tired. Come here, just come sit man. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Jake! <laughs> God. Help! Help! Somebody help! God. What do you think you're doing? She's not ready for this. This little boy has spent the entire night crying for his mother. I'm going to make sure that he sees her. I think Parker has survived all of this because he's believed everyone here when they told him that his mommy was coming back. So, if you turn away from him now, you may hurt him in a way that your absence didn't. But what if he's scared? What if my face scares him, John? Pick him up and you hold him. And you tell him everything is okay. Right? It's up to you to make him feel safe. Not the other way around. You're the adult here. Haven't you been alone long enough? You are so lucky you're holding this little one. Why? This little boy wants his mother. You're not taking another step towards that door until someone says it's okay. Parker, I think your mom would like to see you. Great, I'll take him in. No, he's comfortable with me. You're using a little boy. You're trying to. If this doesn't work out, this ends up hurting Parker or Carly. I think both of them will do just fine. Please, Frank. Don't mention anything about Rosanna over the corridor. I'm begging you, please. Everything would be all right. Love was disfigured and it upsets you. I mean, no, that... no, no, she wasn't disfigured, Rosanna. She's old. And, and I. I don't know what I feel. Listen to me, the bullet has done a lot of damage. <laughs> but he's gonna be okay, right? I mean, after the operate, are you gonna do the surgery? Unless you have an objection. No, no, and I know he's gonna be okay. I just want to warn you, he's lost an awful lot of blood. And the trajectory of the bullet tore up a lot of tissue around the heart. But you stabilized him, and you're gonna fix it. I'm gonna do the best I can. But Mommy's gonna see a doctor tomorrow morning, really early, about this face. He's gonna see if he can try to make it look like it did before. And then when I'm all better, we can go home. Doesn't that sound good? Home. How's Molly? Well, physically she's okay, but after everything that she's been through, and what the whole family has been through the last few months... Who's gonna make it, is he? Oh, no. And listen, uh, we'll know in the morning if, if Milltown is gonna kick over the Scully case to us, and if they do, then you've gotta head it up. No, Marco, I got my hands full here. Why, Jack? Hey. Can you do me a favor, please? Oh, big favor. Oh, look at that. Uh, oh. Can you pick up all of these quarters for me? I need them for parking. Listen. I heard Margo. Jake's in surgery? He's heading there. Molly must be going out of her mind. 
Well, I know someone who could make Molly feel a lot better. No. <laughs> One look at this face, she'd be scared into next Maybe week. It's not Jack. that bad, is it, Parker? I mean, if you squint really well, you can, you can almost see Molly. Very, very nice. Yeah, see, it is Mommy. She hit me. Well, what do you think, Parker? Do you think Mommy should try to find out Molly? You tell Mommy that anyone who ever loved her is always happy to see her. I want to stay with you. I'm fine. And you need a break. You've been babysitting me all night, okay? If you don't want to go all the way to the cafeteria, go to the chapel. I'll come get you if anything changes. Are you going to be all okay? Excuse me. Any word from the OR on my husband? Uh, he's still in surgery. It's a complicated procedure. Yeah, I knew that. I just thought maybe, I don't know, that you'd heard something. You'll know as soon as we do. Okay, not yet. Why not? There's something I have to tell you first. I didn't even know you were back. Last I heard, Jack said they were looking for you in Switzerland. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be okay. They found me. You know, so much has happened. I'm not even sure exactly when they did find me, but they brought me here sometime this afternoon. I mean, because I, I know that Rose had some problems. Do you remember great Aunt Hazel? I, I think you met her once when you were visiting. <laughs> How could I forget great Aunt Hazel, Carly? You brought a horse in her house. <laughs> she saw that horse in her parlor, her jaw dropped, and her false teeth popped out. <laughs> that was quite an ache. Horse in the house and false teeth. Right. Well, <clears throat> say hello to Great Aunt Hazel. Oh, Carly. I know. It's terrible. But I'm alive. And that wasn't always a sure bet, so. And I'm here for you. And that's what matters. You heard about Jane. <laughs> Honey. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're safe. And I'm gonna take that as a really good sign. <laughs> you do that. Mrs. McKinnon, the OR just called. Your husband's out of surgery. He's in the ICU. Go. <laughs> oh. I'll be here. Okay. Um, somebody at the door. Craig. Jack. Relax, we haven't done anything wrong. Well, I'd rather not share my all together with the rest of Oakdale. I'll handle it. Thank you. Mm. You do that just like my wife. <laughs> I'm glad I haven't lost my touch. <laughs> I can't leave you alone for one minute. You and me. Me and you. 